Hey, what's up guys, Adam here. And if you're trying to shoot video in a scenario like this where you're trying to get yourself on camera and you're trying to monitor the focus, and it can be quite difficult if your camera does not have a flip out LCD screen. Now, of course, you can go ahead and get yourself a field monitor, but these things are really, really expensive. I'm gonna be showing you today how to get a budget field monitor for under 25 pounds, just 25 pounds to get a fully functional uh, field monitor. So the first thing you're going to need to go ahead and get is first of all a in-car reversing monitor. These things cost around about £12 on eBay, uh, so very inexpensive and they come in various sizes. For example, you can get them in 4.3 inches, 5 inches, 7 inches, but depending on which one you go ahead and get, again they vary in price, but they're kind of the ballpark area is around about £12 to £15. But depending on which one you go ahead and get, make sure it has a 12 volt power outlet and it also has a composite input as well to make sure you can go ahead and connect it to your camera and make sure it just has both those two inputs and you'll be perfectly fine. Again, I'll leave all the links in the description down below so you can go ahead and check these products out for yourself. But the first thing you're gonna go ahead and need is going to be, a, of course, an in-car reversing monitor, which is, going, which is going to act as your field monitor. So the second thing you need to go ahead and get is going to be a portable power bank, not your typical power bank with micro USB, but a power bank that supports 12 volt output. And these comes in various different milliamps. So for example, they start from around about 3000 milliamp and go all the way up to about 15,000 milliamp. But depending on what which size you wanna go ahead and go for, Remember, if you go for a bigger battery, the overall battery is going to be larger in size if you go for a higher milliamp hour battery. And these, again, range from around about £10 from down, well, pretty much down to £7 up until about £15. It depends on which one you're going to want to go ahead and get. But I've actually got the 4,000 milliamp hour version. That one works perfectly fine for me. So depending on which one you go ahead and get, make sure, again, it has a 12 volt power input so you can go ahead and connect it to the monitor, which you're going to need that power, especially if you're going to be going portable with this field monitor. The third thing you need to go ahead and make sure you have is the actual AV cable that came with the camera itself. Now, if you haven't got this cable, you can try and type in your model number on eBay, Amazon of the camera that you've got. And uh, 9 to that 10, you'll probably find the actual cable for that camera. But make sure you try and get the composite cable, not the HDMI cable in this case, but the composite cable to go ahead and connect to the actual field monitor. And that's pretty much the bare bones where you need to go ahead and get this actually set up. Now, the items 4 and 5 are kind of optional. Item 4 is going to be a bracket for the camera. So you can go ahead and mount that the camera to the bracket itself and pretty much wrap around all the excess cables around the bracket just to tidy things up a bit more. And the fifth item is going to be a hot shoe mount to go ahead and mount the actual monitor to the camera itself with the hot shoe mount. You can kind of find these on top of selfie sticks that tend to have those adjustable vice grips. You can go ahead and mount the bracket into that and then simply mount that on top of your camera if you're going to go for that look. Or you can go ahead and mount the actual field monitor. If you don't want to mount it to the camera, you can go ahead and mount it to either a tripod, for example. So you can go ahead and mount it to the side of you as opposed on top of the camera. It really depends what kind of setup you're going to be going for. But those are going to be the two optional items for this setup. So as you can see on camera, this is pretty much how I have my aerial setup actually set up. As you can see, I have my camera there. On top of that is where the actual field monitor is sitting, the actual reverse camera monitor sitting on top of the camera using the hot shoe mount. For this kind of demonstration, I actually have all my cables around the actual outside of the camera. Again, that's probably my fault. I should really have that tied around the bracket itself. But as you can see, this is just pretty much a rough demonstration about how I set up mine. I've been using this kind of setup now for around about a month, using this for my A-roll. I actually really, really like it. It's a really inexpensive way to try and get the best monitoring for the price. Anyway guys, that's pretty much been uh, me here giving you guys a very important tip about how to get the most inexpensive field monitor possible to go ahead and monitor your video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it useful. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Take care and of course, I'll see you guys in the next tech video. Bye for now.